Diabetes insipidus, causes, symptoms, and treatment. Hi. Diabetes insipidus, DI, is a rare disorder characterized by excessive thirst and excretion of large amounts of dilute urine. Unlike diabetes which is related to problems with insulin production or use, diabetes insipidus is not related to insulin problems but is primarily related to water regulation in the body. This condition occurs when the kidneys cannot concentrate urine properly, leading to loss of too much water and electrolytes. Causes of Diabetes Insipidus Diabetes insipidus, DI, is classified into central diabetes insipidus, CDI, and nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, NDI, each with distinct causes. 1. Central diabetes insipidus. Central diabetes insipidus results from a deficiency of an antidiuretic hormone, ADH, called vasopressin, produced by the hypothalamus and stored in the pituitary gland. This deficiency may be due to damage or dysfunction in the hypothalamus or pituitary gland, often due to head trauma, tumors, infections, or genetic factors. 2. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus occurs when the kidneys do not respond properly to the antidiuretic hormone mentioned above, even when the hormone is not deficient or even elevated. This insensitivity to antidiuretic hormone may be congenital, due to genetic mutations, or acquired due to certain drugs, for example, lithium, demeclocycline, or kidney disorders, for example, polycystic kidney disease, chronic kidney disease. Symptoms of Diabetes Insipidus Characteristic symptoms of diabetes insipidus include Intense thirst, polydipsia Frequent urination, polyuria, which can disrupt sleep and daily activities Dilute urine is almost colorless. Dehydration leads to dry skin, dry mouth, and fatigue. Electrolyte imbalance, which can cause muscle weakness, cramps, and irregular heartbeat. Treatment of diabetes insipidus. Diabetes insipidus cannot be cured, but it can be effectively controlled with appropriate treatment. Treatment often involves replacing the hormone vasopressin, ADH, through medications such as desmopressin, which helps regulate water balance in the body. With proper management, people with diabetes insipidus can lead normal, healthy lives. 1. Desmopressin, often sold under the trade name DDAVP. Desmopressin is a synthetic drug that acts on the body's vasopressin receptors. Desmopressin is currently the main treatment for central diabetes insipidus. It can be taken orally, intranasally, or injected to replace missing hormones and reduce excessive urine output. 2. Hydration Diabetes insipidus patients need to drink enough water to compensate for excessive urine output and prevent dehydration. Monitoring fluid intake is important to maintain proper hydration levels. And 3. Adjust medications. In nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, stopping medications that make the disease worse, such as lithium, and controlling underlying kidney disorders can help relieve diabetes insipidus symptoms. So, diabetes insipidus is a rare condition characterized by excessive thirst and urination, resulting from disruptions in water regulation mechanisms in the body. Understanding the causes, symptoms, and treatment options is essential for managing this disorder effectively and improving patients' quality of life. Are diabetes insipidus and diabetes related? No, diabetes insipidus and diabetes mellitus both have common symptoms of increased thirst and urination, but they are not related in cause or mechanism.
Although they share the term diabetes, they are distinct disorders with distinct underlying mechanisms. As a reminder, diabetes insipidus mainly disrupts water balance in the body due to insufficient production of the hormone vasopressin, or the kidneys are insensitive to this hormone. Diabetes insipidus is not associated with high blood sugar or insulin resistance, the main characteristics of diabetes. In contrast, diabetes mellitus, or simply diabetes, stems from problems in the production or use of insulin, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Diabetes mellitus is a group of metabolic disorders characterized by high blood sugar levels over a long period of time. It occurs when the body does not produce enough insulin, type 1 diabetes, or cannot effectively use the insulin the body produces, type 2 diabetes and other forms. Diabetes can lead to serious complications affecting the eyes, kidneys, nerves, heart and blood vessels if not managed properly. Therefore, although both diabetes insipidus and diabetes mellitus share common symptoms, such as increased thirst and frequent urination, they have different underlying causes and treatments. Diabetes insipidus is mainly related to the hormone vasopressin and the regulation of water balance, while diabetes mellitus is related to the production and use of insulin, as well as glucose metabolism. Wish you health! Thank you, goodbye and see you again!